I'm gonna show you guys how to put a light onto a dimmer switch in a van, boat, RV, anything with a 12 volt electrical system. You're gonna need your lights. You're gonna need the dimmer switch itself. And I like to use really high quality stuff. So I use Anchor Marine connectors as well as Anchor Marine wire and your electrical pliers and a utility knife. Links to all of this stuff in the description below. And then you're gonna need to open up your electrical panel. I have very long detailed videos on my channel on how to make one of these. You need to find an open location on one of your fuse boxes. This fuse box is completely full. Looks like we got a open location right there on the smaller fuse box. We're basically going to take one side of this wire, connect the red to the positive side of the fuse block here, and then the black to the negative side of the fuse block. Just like I did, make sure to drop the screw at least three to five times into a dark hidden crevice so that it increases that step by at least 15 to 20 minutes. Now we wanna run the other side of this cable to wherever we're gonna mount the dimmer switch. And don't forget to label it or else you're gonna have a lot of anger issues when you come back to fix things later. I'm gonna mount the dimmer switch right here. So I ran the wire out to here. I also have a second cable, positive and negative, that runs into the bathroom right here. And that's where we're gonna connect the actual light that we wanted in. So right here on the back of the box, they tell you exactly how to wire the switch up. It was a little bit confusing for me when I first read it. What we're gonna do is take both of the positive wires, the positive from the light and the positive from our fuse block, tie those together and connect them to the white wire. And then we're gonna take the negative from the fuse block and connect it to the black wire and the negative from the light and connect it to the red wire. This is the male connector with a little piece coming out. And this one's the female connector. They connect together just like that. We're gonna take our red wires, one going to the fuse block and the other going to the light, twist those together and crimp on a female connector. And then we're gonna put another female connector on this negative to the fuse block. So now we have three female connectors on the wires. Let's put three male connectors on to the dimmer switch. Now we're gonna follow this diagram and attach our three male connectors to the three female connectors in the way that the diagram says. Let's start with the white wire, which is gonna go to our two positive wires. Then let's move to the black wire from the dimmer switch that's gonna to attach to the ground on the fuse block. And then finally, the red wire from the dimmer switch, which is going to go to the negative going to our light bulb. Next up, we are gonna connect the light itself into the ceiling of the bathroom. This time we put two female connectors on the light and two male connectors on the wire connecting to the dimmer switch. Let's plug them in. All right, so you can see our light is currently off. Getting real close. We're gonna take a fuse. For this sticker, we only need a one amp fuse because these little lights draw almost no power at all. And then we're gonna take our one amp fuse and put it in the location that we attached our original positive and negative to. And now for the moment of truth, take the switch, twist it to the on position. We go back into the bathroom. And we got ourselves some light. So we got ourselves our dimmer switch here. That can go all the way on, all the way off. And then inside of our bathroom, we now have a nice bright light so that we can now use the bathroom in the middle of the night, not trip and fall, and we won't wake each other up by turning the entirety of the back lights on. Thank you guys for watching. It was my first short, so please be nice.